Okay, we got a little bit of a spooky start to today's episode. What was that? That was like a wormhole. Yes! <laughs> Marcus, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> okay, all right, okay. <laughs> guys, guys, look. What? Oh. It'll take forever to go through all this. Uh, focus on why the satellites are in play. Ray. Yeah, I already got eyes on it. Holy love and fuck. Wow. It's a backbone. Satellite backbone? What about the latency? There's no way they can match the speed of fiber optics. If I'm reading this right, they are. Bloom did it. They're, they're bypassing the undersea cables with satellites. That's a quantum leap in tech. I mean, if this works, it'll take hackers years to catch up. Or... Uh, not for us. We're already in. Hey, who's on Bloom's client list? We got Noodle. We got Envite. We got Titus. We got Galilee. We got the, the government, the New York Stock Exchange. What, so all these companies just agreed to up and funnel all their data through Bloom? I don't think so. Now, all that data at Bloom's fingertips, that's like the world's most powerful monopoly. Can we nuke the backbone? No, no, even if we could, we still need answers. Hey, everybody listen up. Our work is far from over, but with this score, at least we're on the playing field. So pick a target, invite, Titus, if whatever. And start digging. Look for shit they're not supposed to be doing, right? You show them what's the pain us as an enemy? Let's show them what going to war with us really means. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice motivation. Yo, could those laptops be any bigger? <clears throat> hey, what's up? You know what's up. I saw those wheels spinning. Look, I don't want you using Marcus as your personal weapon against Bloom. Where the fuck is this coming from? I know about Wayne and Kenny and his great collateral damage. We're using each other here. That was always the deal, Satara. Marcus is a big boy. He knows how to look after himself. Mm-hmm. Sure. Weird. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> great insight there. Okay, so I guess uh, that's a big victory for Dead Tech there, right? In a free and just society, every person is treated with dignity. In a free and just society, leaders are accountable to those they govern. And in a free and just society, individuals can rise as far as their talents and hard work will take them. Do you believe your society is just? just. Do you believe you are free? free. free. Perhaps you trust in the power of democracy, that your vote counts. Vote, vote. Companies now buy politicians and manipulate elections. Do you believe in the power of the free market? The stock exchange is a puppet show for the rich. Your wealth is controlled by people you've never met. met. Do you believe the government protects you? protects you? National defense now aims to protect the government from you. Don't take our word for it. Join us as we launch our biggest operation yet and see for yourselves. The foundations of U.S. policy have failed us all. Democracy, the free market, national security. DedSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. Boom shakalaka. And the stakes have never been higher, huh? Ooh, nice. I think that might let us um, level up, so that's brilliant. Join the Mile High Club. I have no idea what that means, but I'm just glad we leveled up. Level 14. Now, let's grab some research points or research nodes. We have research points already. We have eight of them, in fact. Um, I guess we might as well uh, fully upgrade this. That seems like a good idea. Hey, sweet. Okay, so what's the next course of action? Here we go. The next instructions, Marcus, what you got for us? The deep end of the Galilee data, and he's got something he wants to show you. Cool. Okay. What's the scale of the thing? Come back home when you can. This might be big. Well, we're we are back home. What is that? Shanghai? Is that the name of the mission? Wait, that's not. She said Josh, right? Marcus, I was just reading comments from DedSec members. That's what happened. Yeah. Okay, wait. I thought we were supposed to talk to Josh. Hmm. Let me see. Because now the orange ones are usually side operation. I don't know. It's a main operation. 
Huh, interesting. I thought we were supposed to talk to Josh, but okay. Here we go, folks. The next main operation. What's up, Ray? Joshua picked up something strange from the Galilee hack. It's code, but the comments are in Chinese. Oh, tell me the Chinese didn't hack the satellite backbone already. Not the satellite. The submarine cables connecting China and the U.S. That's not even the interesting drop your pants part. Bloom's been monitoring the hack. Joshua says the hackers are stealing data and using it to make a mint on the New York Stock Exchange. The hackers turned inside a trader, so it's not the first time this happened. Yeah, we'll get this. The program the hackers are using? Drum roll, Josh, please. <coughs> recognition software. Sure as shit looks like bellwether to me. And Bloom knows? So why are they sitting on it? Well, that's why we're talking. We have nothing solid to go on, except our Chinese hackers use their access to pre-clear a cargo ship landing in San Francisco. Their shipping containers just arrived at the board. I'll check it out. All right, and so Marcus is off. On to another adventure he goes. As long as it ends well, all's well. All right, I guess that sets the context for what we got to do next. And that is to head to the cargo shipping container in the Bay Area. All right, Marcus, knock, knock. Who's there? Open Sesame. I just combined like 40 different sayings. Okay, excellent. So we're out. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, we need to just... I just want to make sure I know where we're supposed to go. ...the election later this month. Despite some intriguing new challengers, currently Congressman Mark Thruss is poised for a landslide victory. Online polls reveal that he's expected to retain his seat by a... Why do I feel like it's going to all tie in somehow with this election? Probably will, because that's just how things always go. It always comes back to politics. Power to the sheeple? Is that it, what it said? Good pun work, huh? Sheep, people, sheeple. Genius! How'd they come up with that one? Oh. Here we go. We have a hard right turn coming up. Shortly. Whoa. And we're almost there. Wow, that's beautiful. That bay looks gorgeous. Yo, Sitara, what's the container number I'm looking for? LV426. Oh, that's cold, probably. My geek food? A bit, yeah. It starts with SIBU707. <laughs> okay, I see it. But I got other containers in the way. And I have to find a way to unblock it. I'm guessing it's, it's probably as fuck. Imagine what happens if Bloom takes CTOS global. Countries without any regulations, countries where the government will actively use it against their people. It would be catastrophic. A nightmare scenario. And it's probably already in progress. So how do we even begin to stop it? We keep hitting their corporate allies, expose the risks, the abuse. We're not fighting against Bloom itself. That's a losing battle. We've got to wreck its image and destroy its brand. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what is in here. Let's find out, folks. Da -da. Holy. Didn't expect that. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. Riddle me this. Who around here is Chinese and deals in human trafficking? Anti shoe boy for sure. Yeah. Well, it's some high end human smuggling like I ain't never seen before. <laughs> His container is nicer than my last apartment. <laughs> I'm sending you a picture. Got it. Who is he and why does he have a bloody nose? 
Noodle Translate isn't his friend. And he's not your run of the mill cargo either. Not sure what I can do with it. Let's see if we can match his face online. My guess, he's got an education if they went to all this trouble. Right. I'll start with Chinese schools and get back to you if I find something. Okay. Oh, and by the way, uh, welcome to America. <laughs> what a great welcome. Hmm? Beautiful. And leave the area? Okay. Marcus, I found your guy. What you got? Graduate of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. He's got a double master's in statistic and business. He's a quant. They definitely need him to number crunch that stock market data, which means the Auntie Shoe Boys are in the business of insider trading. I have a contact in Chinatown who's connected with the Auntie Shoe Boys. I'm sending you his coordinates. Maybe he can help you get answers. Okay. Sounds pretty good. We have our next course of action here. And we are ready. Well, uh, we're not going to drive that. That's going to be very, very slow. Oh, there we go. We got to pick a decent vehicle. Marcus, Come on, Marcus. We found a potential diamond in the Galilee dump with Titus's name on it. I'm listening. Wrench and I are working on a plan. Easier if we fill you in when you're back in the garage. I. Oh, holy moly. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. That did not go as planned. Okay. So we have quite a bit of ground to cover. But we certainly will be able to do so. Come on, come on. Look at that pace. Look at us go. Careful. I don't know if we'll be able to fit through there, but we're going to try it. Whoa. That was a little bit stressful. Or a lot stressful. Okay, here we go. Holy. Chinatown's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, and it looks like we need to wind up over here, right? Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, you know this guy? Yeah, oh, man. what a nice dude you are. Attitude, aren't you? Look, I know the Auntie Shoe Boys are bringing them in. I'm trying to find out why. No, I don't fucking know him. We don't all know each other. So talk <laughs> if you could help me out. Give me something here. Why didn't you say so? Auntie Shoe has an office in the import-export company on Gold Street. They keep records there. But you tell Satara this makes us even. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Okay. So that sets up the next chapter of this situation. Okay, so I think it's just across the street, right? Yeah. I don't need to use tracking for that. Heads up. I'm checking up on a lead in Chinatown. I think it's an Auntie Shoe safe house or something. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay. Keep an eye out for anything we can use related to the stock market hack. Okay. Um, how do we call? No, not what I... There's got to be another way in. There we go. Oh, holy moly. 
There's a lot of them there, huh? Can I not call? Mm, darn it. What's the... How do you call in the other drone that we have? There we go. How do I descend? Um, oh, man. I'm not really sure. Oh, that was scary. Find the documents in the safe. Okay. Let's send this little guy. Maybe I just was not paying enough attention. Safe. What's safe? It would be in here, no? Unless if there's something up above. Hmm. I don't really get it, man. Hmm. That's really weird. What's safe? There's no safe in here. Oh, up there. Dang. Uh, how did I call in the drone? Because then I should be able to maybe just fly up there. Quadcopter is being detected. Well, I need to figure out a way in. How the heck do you get in onto that floor? Oh, there it is. Okay, so one of these jerks has a key. That's what we're looking for now. Which one has the key? Ah, oh, that's the issue. Dang. This is tough. I feel like I would have seen the key already, no? Oh, no. Okay, well, we're, there's the safe. I need to figure out how the heck do I get up there. Okay. That's pretty decent. I can't drive that thing here. What does that say? Like, hack there. What's that all about? Holy, how did that guy just, like, completely ignore me? 
I mean, I'm not complaining or anything. That's a good thing for us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. You open the door for us. Wait, what? Holy. Ah! What was that? Did we just fight the Terminator? Do we get upstairs? Or is this upstairs? I have no idea. Come on. Okay. Hurry up. Marcus, you got to do this quick. Okay. Move. Where'd the fun I go? Now this is promising. Let's see what you're hiding. You got anything here? Documents. You read Chinese? Nah, but I do read maps and diagrams. Maps and diagrams of what? Looks like a floating server farm. Computer nodes, generators. They're in international waters somewhere near the China-US cable. The Pacific Fleet's been chasing boats and submarines away from that thing for years. But that's a lot of wet to cover. Not when they also feed you coordinates. Thank you, Auntie Shoe Boy. Great. Now get out of there. We're outie. Hoo! Just like that. Okay, we need to figure this out. Oh no. Okay. I think we did it. Yeah, we're good. Holy moly, that was an intense mission! My goodness. But, a job well done. Indeed. Good job, Marcus. Good job!